Jim, thank you. Now to another tragedy. This one, a deadly fire in South Hackensack, New Jersey. An elderly mother and her daughter's boyfriend trapped by the overnight flames. When firefighters arrived to try and rescue them, it was too late. Both of them killed, but there was one lone survivor, the mother's daughter. Darla Miles is live on the scene with more. Darla? Shade, there is extensive damage to this home and crews just left a few moments ago. They have since secured it by boarding it up and we also saw PSE and G crews here earlier today disconnecting the gas. But as you mentioned, the daughter and her elderly father who lived in this home for almost 40 years, they now have no place to go. We felt really bad for her because she was such a nice lady. She didn't deserve that. Seeing this massive hole carved out on one side of this house makes your heart sink, knowing that an elderly woman who struggled to walk was inside when a fire consumed it. She was a good woman. She didn't bother anybody. She tried to hold her family together and uh, very sad. To pull up this morning to come to work and see all of this, you know, for something so tragic is, is just, you know, it's, it's a lot to uh, absorb. What neighbors on Agar Place in South Hackensack woke up to just after 3 a.m. Friday was a three alarm fire in this single family home. So intense, it took 20 minutes to knock it back before firefighters were able to gain entry. Firefighters were met at the door with heavy smoke condition and until we could get a line into place, we were unable to get into that, to that house because of the extreme heat that was coming out from the home. But once inside, the grim discovery, the bodies of an older woman and a younger man discovered in the back of the house in the kitchen area. Neighbors say it was her daughter's boyfriend. The young couple had been living there with the daughter's son. I am sure the, um, uh, the old time Italian community is really going to feel it because these are people that came here and worked, um, worked hard their whole life. And, um, you know, there, there is a bond there. Neighbors also say the elderly father lives there too, but works overnight and was not home when the fire broke out. We're a real small town. Everybody knows everybody. So something like this really hits home to everybody. So, um, you know, it's going to take a while to recover from this. You know, we'll, we'll get through it. Now, investigators have yet to release the names of the victims and the cause of this fire is still under investigation. As for the elderly father who was working overnight at the time of this fire, neighbors say even though he was well into his 80s, he was simply a hardworking immigrant man who loved his job, and that's why he was still going to work overnight.